That might be better. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Saturday night. Saturday night. And no, I didn't schedule this. And yeah, but we here. So if you watch this in the replay, what's up? If you watch this all the way through in the replay, you are my bae. So I'm just trying to give y'all incentive because I know some of y'all want to be my bae. So anyway, hey. So give it a few set minutes, like a minute or two, see if people come in. Put on a little lip gloss. And tonight is going to be a little impromptu hauling. So let's see. Now, I'm hi Leah, hi Brina, hi Miss P. So it's a little impromptu hauling because I've been trying to do better, but it ain't really happening. So I said, well, I might as well share on a Saturday night. And honestly, I didn't know what I was going to do today. There we have it. I didn't know what to do. So I said, what the hell? You got shit right sitting right here. Let's just do something with it. So I kind of did this beauty haul already. But it was at the end of the live and it was, you know, just kind of thrown in. So I thought I'd make an official beauty lot haul, right? And then we would, you know, play with some stuff I got today. I got a few things earlier this week, but today. Hey, Chantel. Hey, Kelly. Stuff is coming your way. <laughs> Finally. Thank you for being patient. Yeah, I got to send y'all y'all tracking numbers. So your stuff is coming. Just know that. Hey, Coco. Hey, what's up? So I figured I showed, hi, Casina. I showed the stuff that I got from Juvia's Place, but let's swatch it a little. I didn't swatch nothing. So let's do a little swatching, and then we're going to do a little haul, and, and we're going to do a little first impression in, of the perfume. We're going to do a lot like that we gonna get it in y'all we gonna get it in now i you know with me going into my fifth year on youtube you will see y'all gonna see some changes on this channel and i ain't doing no channel update video or none of that shit, right right yes <laughs> um it ain't gonna be like that but just know i'll make a few changes and you know we do we're just gonna do what we're gonna do so <laughs> we are here. Helen came in. What's up, Helen? Okay, so let's do some swatching. Let's get some swatching done. And then we're gonna pull out the fragrances that I got. Y'all go, some of these, y'all gonna be like, shut your mouth. Cause y'all don't even know what I got. Hi, Aquagen. Hey Sarah. So let's let's get started. Let's do these Juvia's Place bronzes and blushes first. Let's just get them out the way in the eyeshadow. And then we're going to do Pastel Dreams last. I'm in a poochy kind of mood. So excuse me if I keep pooching my lips. Like, hey. You know? Hi, Alicia. So we're going to see what these look like. So let's get these blushed palettes out. Yes. So let's get these out, child. What are they in? Oh, this one. Okay. So let's do the blushes first. Then we're going to do the bronzer. Then we'll do the eyeshadows because I lost my mind. I lost my mind. So let's just do it. All right. So let's just go ahead and do some. So this is blush volume one. Hey, Tara. Now, once again, we know Juvia's has, I'm going to say this, hands down, Juvia's Place has the best packaging because the artwork that she uses is stunning every time beautiful black women all different types stunning every time so this is blush volume one this is what it looks like let's see how it looks i have not swatched any of these oh this is pretty <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. So that's that dark one. Now, of course, I would never wear it this dark. Hold on. Shut up, Coco. You know you're going to buy it. And then we got this one right here. I don't know who. Oh, my God. Wait until y'all see this one. 
That is not just the most beautiful coral. That ain't, ooh, that is beautiful. The problem is, you know, I was trying to do that shop my, hi, Mark. You know, you, I was trying to do that shop my stash. Well, my stash is all, I got all this new shit now. So I got to integrate, integrate. Hi, Drea. Right, I, I'm still, I still don't get the PMG ones though. Okay, then we got, I mean, because these are so inexpensive. They make it hard not to buy. Then we have volume two. Let's do volume two, which is the the lighter shades. Let's see how these are going to look. Oh, if these ain't for me in the wintertime, baby. Oh, yes, these are perfect. These are perfect for a little bit. Like, see, I can wear them both, though. But look at those. This right here, that peachy one. That is beautiful. 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 Oh, you got some of the reds? Because I got all of the reds. I didn't get all the berries. And I didn't get all of... Are you talking about the two lipsticks? Or are you talking about her liquid lipsticks? Because, yes, I love her lipstick uh, formulation. I mean, I have to give Juvia's... She have a little bump here and there, but all in all, Juvia's Place has really good quality. No lies. We can't lie on, we can't lie on Chi Chi. She can be problematic and crazy, but we can't lie about her, her products. People try to. All right. Yes, you know I love the JP blush palette. You know I love that thing. And these are good. Oh, you got one more. See, I got all the reds. I think I got two of the berries. I don't remember. I got five of them. Hey, Christy. So then here's the bronzer. And I ain't bought no new bronzer in a minute. So this is the medium one. Let's see how this is going to work with me. Yep. So this will be me in the wintertime. Thoughts on Beauty Fest. I don't know about Beauty Fest. What's Beauty Fest? I am not up on Beauty Fest. What is that? Oh, I might need to get the tan one, y'all. Oh, I might need... Well, I can build this up. Let's see. Yeah, this will build up. Yeah, this will build up. But I might need to get the tan one. See, but the tan one looks too dark. But I could probably mix them and make it perfect. Oh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen anything about it. I, I mean... Uh, Hey, Courtney. So, I haven't seen anything about it. I haven't even heard. Of, I don't know why either. Oh, oh well. I'm kind of over um, those type of things online. Um, let's just, Okay, let's just be honest. Really? Get out of my... Oh, girl. That's my Charlotte Tilbury. Don't lose your life, little kitten. Do not lose your life over the CT. Sorry. Sorry. I can see you in my stuff. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, let's go on and do a... Oh, okay, no. Probably because, A, I'm not that big. Or, B, I haven't looked. Because they might have sent me some shit about it. And I did notice it in my, my email. For real. So, who's VC? Okay, let's do the bronzed rustic. Now these are gorgeous. We're gonna do these right here, then we'll do those. So let's do these three. 
Y'all yeah, know Juvia's place be coming for you with the, with the shadows. Oh, look at this orange. And then this coral. Oh my God, look at this coral. And then... You know you're... Oh, Lord. Look at this. Okay, Chi-Chi. Okay, Chi-Chi coming through. Okay, Chi-Chi is coming through. Chi-Chi is coming through with the bronze rustic eyeshadow palette. She not playing with us. She not playing with us. She not playing. She said, I didn't come here to play. I came here to slay. <laughs> okay, I got to stop making myself laugh. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. Oh, these are pretty, y'all. This is a blush right here. This is eyeshadow. So we good. Oh, you talking about the blushes, though? Oh, this is real pretty. This is a duochrome. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. 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 I see you. I see you. Got some flex in there. I got, I see you. With your flecky self. With your flecky self. Oh my goodness. This palette is banging. Right? That coral. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a banging palette. Mm -mm -mm. She banging. She banging. Hold on. Let me clear this off. And we're going to do the last of these. And then we're going to do the pastel dreams. Oh, we're going to swatch the pastel dreams. I think that the pastel dreams is going to soothe my need for, wasn't that beautiful? Um, For pastel eyeshadow. I think I, my, my need is satiated because I do go through these issues. Um, for people who are new to me and things like this, this is how I roll. I get fixated on something and then I have to get it until I, um, then, then I'm, then I'm satiated and that goes with fragrances, um, things like that. So like, you know, I kind of got into the, um, you know, looking for iris fragrances. Well, it's a bunch here now. Okay. So let's go with blush rose and then we're going to do, look at this y'all. Let's start here. Now, everybody who know me, let's say it. It's pink. Oh, this is pink. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I know you are. How was how was dinner? Courtney, how was dinner? Was it fun? Ooh, we. Ooh, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, we. Look at that, look at that, look at that. See that? Yes. Okay, so here we go with this one, this one, and this one. This one is more like a topper. This one's more like a topper. Hi, Toria. Ooh. How you looking, say? Oh, I have had that happen. And then you try to brave the day with the bad makeup. Oh, yeah. I've been there, Drea. Oh, and here's what I do enjoy. Her deepening, this deepening shade isn't a chocolate brown. 
it's within tonally it's gonna look really beautiful oh my gosh yeah i'm not a big um they kind of make my eyes dry out and burn so yeah i'm not a huge hi teresa i mean look at this This, the blushed rose is singing to me. She's singing. She's singing. I know it's kind of bloody. I like it. It was the makeup's fault. The makeup didn't, wasn't, get, right. It wasn't you. It was the makeup's fault, Drea, because you're beautiful. And it was just trying to take you down for the day. Don't let it take you down. Don't let it suck your joy from your day. Don't let it suck that joy. No sucking of the joy. Yeah, and then don't wear your glasses and just be blind. It's okay. Like me. I ain't got no contacts in. I'm just blind as a motherfucker. So let's go through her. All right. So what I like is that they have a corresponding shimmer for the mattes. Right, I, right. I'm just blind as a bat. Who cares? But you still look you, you you look good. Okay. And plus, right. And plus, glasses are hot. But sometimes you don't want to wear your glasses because you want to wear your extra glam lashes. See, here's the issue for me: when you wear them extra glam lashes, you cannot wear them. Well, we about to see how it is. Let's get it going. Let's get it going so let's hit this lavender we're gonna hit we're gonna hit the lavenders and blues first <laughs> let's see oh child oh my god <laughs> do y'all see this y'all see how beautiful that is mm -mm. do y'all see how beautiful that is That was one swipe. Yuck. Oh. You say you blind now. Right? Isn't it beautiful? Glam Glow has great... Uh -uh, I'm sorry. I love me some Glam Glow. Don't it look like foil? Then we're going to throw this one on. Look at that one. Whoa, what, what? Stunting on the hose, stunting on the hose. I don't feel like snapping, but y'all know what that means. Stunting on the hose. That's all I'm saying. Do I get, no, uh-uh. I used to get makeup subscription boxes they're good when you're starting out your collection but at my level um no because i would wind up with stuff that i really didn't want so i just got rid of those now i do do royalty sense but i think like because you choose what you want it's a whole lot different so no i don't um hi faith you got something coming i'll send you your uh your, your what's the name your uh, tracking number. I finally got them out. Please forgive me. Thank you for your patience. Now I got two more to do and I am done for a minute. There's going to be, let me just say this. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do them years ago, but it's been years since I've had one. Because the only I would just be giving away the stuff. So we got this. Whew, okay, so let's go into the, the second row. So now we're going to hit the peaches and the pinks. I had BoxyCharm for a minute, but I kept like, I would get BoxyCharm for a few months and get rid of it. 
and get it for a few months and get rid of it. So I just finally got, I got, well, I, was, I did that twice. And so after the second time, I was like, nah, I'm good. I had some back in the day when, you know, so many boxes were so popular. I had like the black hair care ones. Which one did I have? I had one of those black hair care boxes. I used to get the Morphe brush ones. So when I first started out, I got the Morphe brush ones, which was good because it helped me buy, get some Morphe brushes. They weren't the best, but it was a good way to start getting brushes because I was trying to get, you know, makeup brushes. Um, right. This is called Pastel Dreams by Give Me Glow. So this is the Pastel Dreams. I think it might have been Curlbox. Um, it was one of them. Um, and then I had, um, I had boxy charm and I had another one at some point too, that was a little less expensive, but you know what? I couldn't stand back then. And that's what one of them I got rid of because it was some off brand, something they had in there. And it was like a facial mask. Never heard of this brand. It wasn't like Tatcha or something. And they said the retail price was like $36. I was like, give me a fucking break. You got me twisted. And that's when I got rid of it because I was like, come on, y'all. This stuff is not as expensive as y'all talking about. Because y'all saying the retail price? No, but what would you actually pay for it? Because a lot of those, when they were trying, a lot of people, uh, that's how you, that's how everybody got caught on BoxyCharm. Because you be getting all these off-brand stuff and they be acting like it costs so much. Come on. Okay, so let's get this peach on. <laughs> Oh, this peach is pretty. So we got the peach right there. Now let's get the peach right there. Oh my goodness. It'll be back in. They they just watch them a lot. They usually um, restock on Fridays. So just check on Fridays because that's when they usually do restocks. Cause they already said they're going to be doing it again. They're going to restock it again. Oh yes. Look at that. They always, re they always run out because they're a small, they're an indie brand and they, you know, they'll have them out for a minute and then, and then they'll restock. So, oh, oh, this is pastel dreams by give me glow cosmetics. love i think i don't need any more pastels i think i have all the ones i need oh, oh my gosh look at these oh my goodness baby right right auntie yeah yes oh Sorry, I keep hearing these damn kittens and my shit. Next up, the greens and the yellows. Let's see what's happening with the greens and the yellows. Mm -hmm. they, got, they on their 10-day notice right now. They got their 10-day notice today. I'm not doing a five day, I'm doing a 10 day. <gasps> oh, look at that, baby. Honey, these shimmers are killing it. And then here's the mint to go with it. I had years ago, I had the creepy cute. I think I, I might still have it up, but if I have it, it's gone now. Cause who needs the creepy cute? Cause the creepy cute was not this pigmented baby. It was not giving this life. It was not doing it at all, baby. This is pigmented enough for anybody to use. And let's go with this yellow. I don't even like yellow, but look at how damn yellow that shit is. I don't even like yellow, but look at that. <gasps> yeah, the creepy cute is only masked, but they. Oh, yes. Hi, 
Marsha. I, I think I still I might have decluttered Creepy Q finally. I I might have because I it never I never it never fulfilled my pastel need ever really. I try, but it just didn't. Okay, so let me show y'all all of them. Let me show y'all all of them. This is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Pastel Dream. You will not need pass if you say I need a pastel shade. This all you need. This all you need. Okay, let me take these off. Right. Yes. Exactly, Karen. It works for you. I mean, I can get it to work. It just doesn't do nothing. Um, it just doesn't do anything for me. I like pastel mattes, but I want some shimmer too. You know, I want a little shimmer, but these shimmers are so good because usually I do do a lot of mattes and pastels, but you still, every once in a while, you want to pop a pastel shimmer, just a little pop, just a little pop. So that's the pastel dreams right there. Boom. Okay. Okay. Last thing beauty wise we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to try on the, the Lena Chu um, lipstick I got, which is um when i bought the brushes this was like the gift with purchase and this is a full size one of hers and baby she's one of them expensive brands because these are 32 dollars. so i'm glad i got it for free i'm glad i got it for free all right so let's see how this looks on the lips let's see how she right it's right it's a big pop of shine right it is it is it's a big pop of shine hunty it really is okay let me do this right quick i think i'm off of, yeah let me do this give me a second boom let me do that so y'all don't get that okay 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 let me take this off all right so let's take this off <gasps> I saw something about Helen. I have to look at that because I saw you got some stuff, girl. I saw you got a, some great deals. I didn't get to watch it. It came across. I said, bookmark that one we need to watch. Bookmark that one. What's the name of it? So here we go. Let's see how this looks. Listen, thing. Stay off my shit. Okay, so here's the red. Let's see how she looks. Oh, the CC, yeah, Cosmo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't think I have any near me. I gotta find if there's one near me. I think there's one in Aurora. Ooh, we. Hey, Glenda. I'm just gonna let this sit here. I'm gonna just let y'all just say, damn. And this is Shakespeare number nine from her, but these are expensive. But look at the packaging, though. I'm going to show y'all the whole packaging it comes in. So it's in a little velvet bag. And when you get it, it's in this little sparkly. Oh, Lord. And then it's this one. You know, I put on a red. You can't tell me shit. You can't tell me shit. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it is one in Aurora. I never go out to Aurora, but I'm gonna make it out there soon to go out there. I'm gonna go out there real soon. Ain't she pretty? Okay, I'm gonna take her off because if I don't, I'm gonna be staring at my lips the whole time and I won't get anything done. So we're gonna take this off. Okay, y'all gonna have me rolling out to Aurora one Saturday morning. Oh, summertime. Ooh, summertime. I'm going to go with like on an off day, like Wednesday. Okay. Okay, so we back. 
we back. Let me drink my water. Let me drink some water, y'all. Um, these are Lena Chu. Um, her name, here's it. it. Can you see it on here? I don't think you can see it on here. It's Lena Chu. You got to go to Beautylish to get them. You got to go to Beautylish to get them. I live for red lipsticks. Now I want some more of these. I think I'm going to just like get one every once in a while, you know, because they $32. This is going to be one of them. Oh, I'm going to get it here. Oh, I live for red. I live for red lips. Especially in the wintertime, I am Cruella DeVille all day. Red lips, burp. vampy dark ass lips. I am Cruella DeVille all day. All right, so let's get into some fragrances that I got. Now, these first ones are very inexpensive. Let's just talk about these first. Let me see if I can remember the name of this damn thing. Okay, so this is the first one. This is Salvador. Baby. Yeah, you need red with a blue undertone. I could do a slight orange, but I prefer a classic red with a blue undertone. Ruby Woo. Let's just say Ruby Woo. I'm a Ruby Woo, Russian Red. Yeah, you know, when you go through, go old school Mac. Ruby Woo, Russian Red. So this is Salvador Dali's La Belle et Ocelot. Now, these are super inexpensive. $25 or under. I think this one was like $25. One of these was like twenty five and some change. The other one, one was twenty four ninety nine, and one was cheap, cheap, cheap. Of these first three, I'm gonna show y'all. So, oh my god, this shit smells good. This smells sexy and gorgeous. It's got a little spiciness to it. It's got um, it's fruit. It's got fruits and flor. It's florals with a little fruitiness in it, but it's really got a little spice to it. This is so pretty. Now, it doesn't last as long as that, you know it doesn't last that long but it's like 25 dollars i can spray this shit all fucking day you know what i'm saying i could put this in the decan and spray this shit all fucking day yes 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 so this is the bell at ocelot it is beautiful you know what i'm saying it's like this is as they say kind of niche you know it's 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 got layers it's beautiful on the skin. It dries down. It gets like very um, ambery. Thank you, Toria. I, um, it gets ambery. Oh, mm, mm. I think it's got Tonka in it. I think it's got a little Osmanthus. I can't remember. Mm. Right, you can just spray it and spray it and spray it. So yeah, this was like $25. Fragrance net. Then I got this, which is Carl Lagerfeld's Fleur de Orchid. Fleur de Orchidie. That was a good save, y'all. That was a good save. <laughs> I did that. I did that shit, okay? So this is Fleur de Orchidie. This, like I said, this is like 25 and some change. Babe, are you singing? Now let me tell you what I'm I'm kind of finally figured out what this smells like to me. I have bronze goddess. It's okay. Hi, Richard. Um, it's all right. I mean, I have bronze goddess. I have had it for a couple of years now. I like it for purposes of like reference. Wait a minute. You know what this reminds me of? Let me tell you what this reminds me of, for real, the scent. It reminds me of Love Don't Be Shy. I knew it was reminding me of something. It's very similar. Because it must have some orange blossom. It's got some sweetness to it. It reminds me of, or of Love Don't Be Shy. I, I see you are. <laughs> you must have got that when you went shopping. Because that's, that's Estee Lauder. And co cosmetics company stores, Estee Lauder. Ooh, wee. Damn, this shit smells good. Don't forget to hit the like before y'all leave. 
Oh my God. Yeah, this is very similar to Love Don't Be Shy, but $25. Um, and I, I've worn it. I will be doing my blind buys, so I'm going to wear it again. You know, say, you know, how it dries down and stuff. Might wear it against it because I might have, I, I, I keep forgetting I wanted to do unintentional dupes because I have stuff, um, you know, um, I have, I have, um, unintentional dupes because I don't be really looking for dupes, but the shit happens sometimes. Okay. Then this is Jesus de Pozo, Pozo's. This is Ambar. Now, I have not even sprayed this, so we're going to see what's going on with this one. Um, I bought it. It was cute. It was really cheap. This is under $20. I, okay, so let's just have a moment. Yeah, because I have stuff that's kind of dupey. And I just, I don't, because like, I don't intentionally go buy stuff to see if it's a dupe. I just don't, because I, I ain't trying to spend extra money just you know i ain't got money like that i ain't got money to go out and buy stuff to say oh it's a dupe of this and i already got it you know mm -mm. now i could do that with some samples i guess because i do have samples hmm this is interesting i'll have to put this on skin because it's it's kind of almost soapy but it's kind of sweet hmm interesting yeah, and that's kind of what drew me with the bottles. And I don't know how I, you know, I went down one of them rabbit holes. And let me say the perversity of me. Let me just, let me have a moment before I open these other two boxes. The perversity of me is sometimes like this. When I see everybody going in one direction, I want to go in the other direction, right? That's, that's the perversity of me. So I've been noticing that there's so many people who are doing really expensive perfumes now you know um you know they're just like really like you know they buying this shit that real talk most of us can't afford you know um so you know it's like so the perversity of me is well i'm sure there's some stuff out here that smells really lovely that's not that expensive now that's not to say i ain't got some expensive shit in here because i probably do yeah i do but the perversity of me says that I can't just get stuck in that, you know. So now the problem is I try, I really do. But, you know, if I see some shit that's really inexpensive, then I might get it. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not chasing $300 bottles of perfume right now. Um, and, I'm, you know, if they come up and I can get them for at least half price, I might get them. Um, but it's just that. I don't want to be doing the whole, oh, let me just buy all these expensive ass perfumes, you know, um, right? And it's not to, you know, and not to say there's not some stuff on my list that's very expensive. Don't get me wrong. I love them both. You know, I give you both. Um, right, right. Exactly. That's why I walk backwards. I was just like, what would it, you know what? The, I'm just telling you, one day I said, you know what? I should walk backwards. And I started walking backwards for a while. Don't ask me why. It just was like, let's walk backwards for a while. So that was, that was my walking backwards phase. So, um, so as opposed to just looking at the niche stuff and, you know, looking at the Zerjovs and the Nishanes and, you know, all of those things that are, have some very good fragrances, right? Ooh, yeah, that with your mad money, girl. So, the, you know, as opposed to just doing that, I've been kind of looking around like, ooh, those not, no sound good. Um, yeah, you know, it's like I get off on, I I I enjoy finding things. And I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't, I don't, I'm not going to buy into it has to cost a lot to be worth me that makes it smell good. Or, you know, if it's too, if it's inexpensive, it's gonna, it's gonna be cheap smelling. No, not everything, because the reality is, is it's a whole lot of shit out here that just ain't selling. And so they trying to liquid, they liquidate it. And so it's, they can sell it super cheap. So let's go ahead and see what I got. I got two boxes. You know, um, and 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 here's the thing, and this is what I'm saying is like it's a it's a it's a wave because the beginning of 2020 into 2019, the majority of female reviewers were reviewing designer fragrances. They were. 
Now, all of a sudden, everybody wants to be a niche hoe. Everybody want to buy the, the newest niche and, you know, stuff like that. It's like, okay. No. And I, it's no shade to them. It's just that's what's going on. And so the perversity of me says, well, let's go on a, let's, let's backtrack. Let's find some shit that's inexpensive sometimes. Let's look at some 20, let's find some $30 perfumes that smell good. Let's find a $40 one. That's just good. Look, I ain't got it like that. I ain't going to front. And I ain't mad at them if they do. But I just got to be real with myself. You know, I have to have them, them, self, them self moments like, self, what the fuck you doing? And it's like, oh, you gonna stop that shit. That's them, that's them self moments. Self, what you doing? Nothing. We gonna sit our heads and sit back and get back. And, that, and we know my... Oh, yeah. I know you are. Yeah, and plus, yeah, and, and then I'm all over the place anyway, because it ain't like this is my only my only thing I buy a lot of, so. And it's not even that. It's just that I just feel like, you know, it's fun to, like, look around for stuff, you know, and not get caught up in what, what you know, is easy. You know, everybody's talking about, oh, my God, you got to get Zerge off. You got to get this. This is, the, this is the hottest thing ever, you know. I ain't no problem with it. But that's just how, you know, who I am. Okay, so now I got this one. This is a tester bottle. This is a Serge Luton tester bottle. This was so inexpensive, I had to buy it. So I don't even, I'm not really sure what this is gonna smell like. You know, I read some notes. I read some notes, I read some notes. Y'all know how it is. So this is Serge Luton's La Verge, Verge de Fer. We're going to see what it smells like right now. I forget the notes sounded pretty good, but I'll be honest, the price was so good. I was like, look this, let's just try. Let's just try. So where's the thing? Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do, uh, I'm going to have to do a, a I kind of like this. Ooh, it's kind of interesting. Oh, it smells like, it smells like, and it's kind of fizzy. It's got a fizziness to it. It's kind of sweet. I don't remember what these are. No, sorry. It's, it's definitely a fruity floral kind of vibe. Mm. And um, I'm going to do my starch collection. I'd still, and I, <sighs> Here's my issues right now. Let me tell y'all my issues. I kind of like it. It has a light fizziness to it. Mm. Mm. It's kind of clean, almost like a clean soapy, but not soapy. You know, it smells like a clean, kind of expensive soap. Like that fruity soap, that, you know, like with the soap you get, it's like a little fruity, a little floral. Got a little... It smells like it's gonna make you smell good, you know. Um, I got this one off of Fragrance Net. They've been having a lot of surge um uh testers really cheap. You know, they've been having a lot of ones really cheap. So this is La Ferge de Fer. Um and ooh, okay. It must be one of the tall black bottles. Yeah, see, this was one of the <laughs> inexpensive ones. So, yeah, I'm going to try this out. Did you? I've been looking. Okay, so I've tried quite a few of them. Rose gave me decants of those when she first got them. And, yes, they do have them at a really good price. I'm trying my best not to buy any of them because they are decent prices now. The Orpheline. Ooh, I want that one. So here's here's why I haven't done this. And this is like in my head. You know, in my head it says, um, right, exactly. You got to have, make sure they have a top. In my head, it's like, oh, I want to do the Serge Luton collection, right? 
But in my head, I'm going, oh, but you don't have Umbuavani, which is one of the more popular. Oh, you don't have Ambra, you know, what is it? Ambra, whatever, you know, his Ambra one. Um, oh, and you don't have, um, what's the one? Uh, Santa Magisquil. Now, I keep forgetting about him, and they, you know, so I was like, so that so I haven't done the collection because I'm like, but I don't have the ones, you know, with that. I know I can't stand a Tesla without a top. I cannot stand. But like I know the surges, his his come with a top. It's like some of them you know come with a top after, you know, and then you like, okay, so even if they don't have a picture, you like, they probably got a top. Like never buy a bar not number nine Tesla because it ain't got the top. And the bottle is ugly enough, but it looks better with a top on it. So because I got Chelsea flowers and they ain't got a top. Chantel don't like decadence anyway. She gave that one to me. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Here's the other two I got in this one. One of them I've smelled before. One of them I haven't. And so let's go ahead and get some crackling going. Let's get some crackling going. Let's crack a lack. Let's crack a lack. Let's crack a lack. Um, I tried this, uh, quite a few of the Carolina Herrera cop, bron, confidential ones. Um, yeah, and they were super expensive. But half price is always good. Okay, so this is the first one. Essence number one rose. I finally bit the bullet and bought it. I have tried it. Um, I actually have two decants that uh, Joss gave me around here so okay so i have two decants that joss gave me of essence number one rose i'm gonna give them away so here's what um yeah i'm trying not to get in the you know the the pokemon you know get in my Pokemon vibe because I'm trying not to, but it's hard. Um, cause now I have four of them. Yeah. Four. Um, cause I have three, I have two of them. I'm going to give them away. I'm going to do a giveaway soon. So that'll be in the giveaway. All right. So here we got Elisa. Um, right. Right. Get, you getting that Pokemon. Got to have, this is essence number one rose. There's a certain sweetness on. Hey, Devante. There's a certain sweetness to it. And then it gets kind of spicy. Mm. Yeah, you know, I know how it is. Because there's a few out, still out there and I'm like, damn it, I need to get them. So it's a beautiful, pretty rose. But I promise you. Now, this is still at Fragrance Net, and I think Fragrance Buy might still have it. But um, if you cannot find it, it is very similar to Aramis's Calligraphy Rose. Very similar. I mean, it's beautiful, and it has this kind of, um, kind of, um, I want to say, uh, kind of hipster rose you know because it's not it's very modern it's very you know what it's, it's similar to honestly the whole perfume his is similar to this i need to check the notes on this i wonder if this has raspberry in it because it's got a slight sweetness to it but then it gets a little um uh just a little bit uh like very edgy. It's got an edginess to it. All right. So this one right here, I will say the juice is beautiful. I mean, that juice is gorgeous. Definitely a winter rose. Definitely has that depth to it. All that good stuff. So now this one I got. No, it's not like Rose is greedy. It's much deeper. So, you know, um, the, 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 you know, the one in Rose Degree is kind of more sugary. 
This is more fruity sweet. And it's a, it's a much deeper fragrance. Much deeper. All right, so now this is Essence Number 3 Amber. This is Essence Number 3 Amber. Let's see what we do doing here. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see how she is. And you know, these are Kirk Johns, and this is my thing. Um, I, I'm saying ooh, because the ooh was available, and I didn't, I don't, I don't know if it's still available, and I didn't get it, because I was trying to be good. No, I didn't buy them all yet. There's, I still, there's a few, but it's the third. I only got four. Yep. This does smell like Grand Soir. Yep. This smells like Grand Soir. This smells like Grand Soir, y'all. It is very similar to Grand Soir. Yep. It's definitely got it. And let me say this, you know, the issue with with um, Grand Soir for many women is that they say it comes off masculine in the beginning. This one isn't, it, it seems to, um, it seems to um, be a little sweeter. Yeah, it's very much like Grand Soir. Mm-mm. What, Essence number three? Mm -mm. I told y'all, the one that smells like Ala Rose, because I had Ala Rose, is this one. This is the one that smells like Ala Rose. This is the one of his. This is the Nina Ritchie Caresses, you know, Extase Caress or whatever. This smells like Ala Rose. Because Ala Rose is very green and very floral and very airy. Actually, I think Caress is better because it lasts longer. Because, honey, Ala Rose disappeared on my ass. Like, it was gone. So, yeah. So, that's the one. So, if you're looking for something that smells like Ala Rose, that's the one that smells like Ala Rose. Yeah, because you know, Al Rose is so green, so fresh. This one is darker. Uh, uh, Essence number one rose is dark. This is like similar to like Purpura or something like that. It's in that kind of genre. So it's like that deep, dark rose. All right, so I got another box. open this box yet okay so I bought a few things Rose Dr. Rose was getting rid of some stuff and I had to buy a few things yes I heard they did you know I, I'm sorry I I'm okay without buying a bunch of MFK I keep like I keep saying is that he has a style so a lot of his more inexpensive things that he's done for other brands smell similar to the stuff he does for his own brand. And I mean, that's just the truth of it. Because it is his nose. Ooh. So let me see what I got. Let me tell y'all something. I forgot what I ordered, what I bought from her. No lies here. No lies. So these are from Dr. Rose. So let me see what I bought. Because she was selling some stuff super cheap. And uh, so I got some stuff. Okay, so let me show y'all what I got. So I got 
So I got, there's three things in here. So let's see what I got. Okay. Number one. Let's see what this one is. I don't even know what this is. Hey, Kia. Kia, you got some stuff coming. I see your tracking number. Okay. Let me see what this is. Ooh, okay. So this is Hubergant's Oranges, Oranges and Flores. So this is an orange blossom. Yay. So let's see how this smells. <laughs> Still need calcus floors. Oh, this is pretty, y'all. Hi, Eugenia. This is pretty. This is similar. Let me say this. This is similar to Flores de Angers by Sir Zuton. So yeah. Very similar. But this is a little more, Serge is a little sweeter. This is a little more floral. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty, y'all. Okay, so I got that. Next up, what I got. Next up, what do I have here? Let's see. Let's see what I got. Yes, yes, you did, Deidre. You told me it's very similar. It's just a little more floral, and Serge is a little more sweet, a little more like orangey sweet. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we have Jasmine de O. Rose says she don't like it. It wasn't. She said it wasn't strong enough for her. But this is their new Lancome, Jasmine de O. So let's see how it smells, because I don't know. See, that's what I'm... See, that's what I'm messing with you, Coco, because you are forever buying some stuff. And then I just say, oh, I got that. Just be off in your own little thing. I got you. I see where you going. Okay, so let's see how this smells. Now I know this has like tea in it and everything. Ah, uh, yes, I did. It sounded good. Oh, this is kind of smells like nail polish to me. Let me put we're gonna put this one on though. Mmm. To be quite honest, it ain't that much different than uh, Jasmine Marlin but okay, let me see. But it has white, white peach tea or something. It's got tea in it. I know that Jasmine tea. So this is more of a tea fragrance. So let's see. Let's see. I will be putting this on my list. You know, stuff like this, you know, I will be putting those on my list. So if you want to try them. It smells like nail polish to me. I'm gonna have to let this dry down for a second because I swear it smells like nail polish to me. I swear. Let's see how this smells. Um, now, here's my question. This is so interesting because I've had a lot of people asking about getting decants of like the exhausts, right? Um, but I always feel like I never put stuff like that on my decan list because I just feel like it's so inexpensive that I, I don't, you know, it's like, is anybody really going to want to buy this from me? So should I put it? Let me know if y'all want me to put some of my more designer stuff, my more inexpensive stuff. Um, okay, it doesn't smell like that anymore. Okay, it's good. That might have been my nose. We're going to wear it again, but no, no, no. It's a really beautiful jasmine, but it is very light. It's a light, but let me say this. 
Jasmine's marzipan is pretty light to me too. And I still like that one. But this is definitely a tea, more tea uh, based fragrance. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Like just do them all together. Like do like collections of it. Like do the Nina Ricci's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, kind of acetone -y. But it, that just went away. Mm. Right, Jasmine Marzipan is like, I don't get how everybody be like, and I still to this day ain't never smelled that candied almond thing that everybody be talking about. It's got this beautiful candy. No, it's a beautiful Jasmine, but no. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, it's very pretty. See, I'm kind of like, you know what? I, I go back and forth between the really florally, really girly, girly, light, pretty fragrance to them deep, dark, sexy ass, you know, cinnamon, clove, oud, you know, rose, jammy. I'm, 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 a, I'm just, I'm just all over the place. I like them all, you know, because I never get that damn almond. Okay. So now here's the last one that I got. Something from a, a house I've never bought from before. Um, so this is, oh my God, look at how big this thing is. Look at how big this thing is. So this is a Javoy Paris one. This is called Pavilion Rouge. So let's see how she smells. Oh my God, this thing is big. This thing is big. This thing is huge and heavy. Oh my God. This thing is big and huge uh, and heavy. Mm. Oh, this is real pretty, y'all. I'll be wearing this to bed. Okay, so this is Pavilion Rouge by Javoy Paris. So let's see what this smells like. Hi, Courtney Cherry. We are doing... So let's see. And I have some more fragrances coming. Maybe two. Yes. All right. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. I'm going to have to look up these notes, baby. Okay, I like this. Let's spray, spray this one on too, y'all. It's definitely different. It's, oh, it's kind of fizzy, but it's, it's spicy. But it's got like a fruity sweetness to it, but I don't know what. Oh, man. Sh I didn't see Shannon come in. Hey, Shannon. Oh, she nice. She nice. Oh, she nice. Oh, she nice, y'all. All right, we might. Okay, let's see how she is. Let's see how she is. Oh, I like this one. It's kind of. Okay, so let me say, right off the rip, I'm going to let it sit down. It's got that baby aspirin time for it to me, but I can tell it's about to dry down. You know, it's not too bad. It's more sweet than the baby aspirin and time for in Black Orchid, because um, that smells like baby aspirin to me. So I could get that little vibe from this for a minute. Yeah, but it's much better. Mm. Ooh, ooh, she nice. Okay, yeah, I, I can wear this one. I'm going to have to try these on. I will be, you know, blind buys. Oh, I got to put all these in my damn... Ew, I need to put these on my list to put on my... my um. Ew, to put in my... What's the name? My database. Sometimes I don't like putting stuff in my database because then it reminds me about how much I have. It's like... See, you be acting like you ain't got that much, and then you see how much you really have, and you be like, ooh, sorry. But anyway, yeah, this 
And this bottle is heavy. This is this is heavy. This is a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know some people love it, but to, you know, it does smell like that to me. Oh yeah. So this. Okay, so let me tell you what this is. Let me tell y'all what this is. This is this is uh, Javoy's uh, Pavilion Rouge. Um, I don't know the notes because I ain't looked at them in a while. I just saw the notes. I said, okay, let me get it. Because it had like a spicy vibe to it. I think it's got an amber going on. So let me tell you what this is. What Jasmine to O is. Um, it is an elevated, you know, much a little more complex will probably last much longer green tea jasmine very kind of similar vibe to me um but this does smell really good this is like the stuff that's made me say oh tea fragrances ain't that bad because yeah this is definitely um a definitely it, it vibes like that because it's got that tea in it so it's very similar to they're very similar but this is a more ele elevated Definitely a little more elevated version of it. You know, a little elevated, a little more complex. Going to last on the skin a little bit longer. This is, you know, this is that chick who, you know, I don't do green teas. I do jasmine dew. You know what I'm saying? That's that's who this is for. But I'm going to put some on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is getting better. Oh, is she getting better? Oh, let's try this Lafarge. Lafarge de Fer. Let's see how this smells on skin right quick. <laughs> let's put that one on right quick. See how she smells. Yes, it smells like to me on the beginning, like hotel soap. Like that good shit, you know, when you go into like a five star and they got that good shit, you know, like the ones that have lush in it. That's what it smells like to me. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is good, y'all. That's good. I don't know. It's it's kind of like weird. I'm going to have to wear it and really play with it. But it it's got, definitely has a clean vibe to it. But it has a very classy clean. It's very swanky. Oh yeah, that smells good. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cold, but in a good way. Yeah, see, yeah, me and Jasmine know though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's real nice. That's real nice. Yeah, so um, I will at some point this weekend I will add the stuff that's going on the decant list. If you don't see something and you see me talk about it, just ask. Because like I said, I don't normally put like these some these type of bottles on because they're like twenty dollars. So I don't figure, you know, I'm not gonna twenty some dollars. So, but if you want to just try it and see if you might want to get it, let me know and I'll decan it for you. You know, those are super. So I could do like so. I have an okay. I got a couple of questions for y'all. I have a couple of questions for y'all. Do you all, especially for the people who buy from me? Do you all like the travel sprays that I send them in? Or would you prefer a, just a basic glass decant, like a 5 mil decant? Because then it will bring down the pricing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So like if if I start using like the just basic 5 mil decants, the glass ones like everybody uses, it will bring the price down. Or did you prefer the travel sprays? I guess I could. See, then that makes me have to work too hard. Um, Teresa, you'd have to send just send me a message on IG and I'll send it to you. Um, but I need to put the new ones in that I just got. Right. Well, see, I prefer those. You know what I'm saying, Faith? I do prefer those because I think that they're just prettier. And and if you're gonna be carrying a decan around in your purse, then it's you know cute. 
you know, maybe I could just offer them both. Still do, because they're both five meals. And I could offer them with glass or the travel sprays. Because I have them both. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're both fine. I mean, I because I have them both. Because I use the glass ones for giveaways. Um, but then I was like, it's all the same. It's all it's all about the same to me. But it's just like I was thinking, oh, you know, I could probably, you know, do them like that. So but you know, time. Oh man, these are good. Yeah, okay, so I like this Laferge verge or whatever it is. La Verge. This is really pretty, y'all. Okay, so it's good. So yeah, I will do blind buys like in the, probably next week. Um, I'm looking to do them next week, uh, but I don't think all these gonna make. Uh, you're right. That's what I could do, and I can bring the class, the price down. You know, because it'll be like you know you get in in the. That's a good one. Cause I was looking at something. Let me tell you something. I was looking at. I was in a group on this. You know, I'm in the Facebook fragrance groups. And people were asking, saying that, and they were like, well, you should offer two, see, like, I have been seeing people, ain't no way I'm do doing all them different sizes. No way, right? Right? Um, I ain't no way I'm doing all them different sizes. They like, well, two meals for this, and you should have two meals and five meals and ten meals. I'm like, no, nah, that ain't gonna happen. Nope. Not gonna happen not gonna happen but i think it's also because i am not just i'm not a company doing this i'm just sharing off of my personal bottles which means that it makes it easier for me to decide this is how many i'm selling based on okay they all five meals uh no because they're like you know if i just want a sample i want two meals but then if i like it and i want to have it then i want a 10 mil i'm like no i ain't doing all that that's too much damn work Mm-mm, mm, mm See, that's what I said. I, that's why I said five mil, because I said, that's a really good sample size. That gives you enough to try it. And if you like it, wear it for a while to really see if you like it or whatever. You know, that's a good size. I was like, y'all crazy if you think I'm doing it. No. Mm-mm. Because somebody did ask me that before. Can I get a two mil? No. I was like, nope. First off, no, it's like, no, nah, I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. Nah, don't get me wrong. I do two meal samples, you know, to as my, as my, you know, when you order, you get a, you get a sample. That's what I give you. But no, nah, I ain't doing all that. You crazy. Crazy. Re, you crazy. All right, y'all. Let me get out of here. You know, it's Saturday sleep overnight with me and the G-Sun. Yeah, but I get it because if it's just, if you're actually running a decant business, then I get it because you know you don't care. You just getting rid of the bottles, um, you know. But you know, for me, I'm sharing off of my bottle, which means there's only so much I'm doing that I'm gonna give out. Which means so I have so it's easy for me to say okay, five meals. I'm gonna give out. 40 mils of this, so that's eight, eight bottles, you know, eight samples, eight decants. That's it. Easy, easy math. If I'm sitting up there like, okay, I'm going to go 40 mils, but it's two people by 20. Okay, but then I got, nah, I ain't doing all that shit. I ain't doing all that shit at all. I was like, no, nah, y'all, mm -mm, ain't going to do it. Ain't going to do it. Ain't going to do it. All right, y'all. Yeah, and now let me just say this. Hit the like button. But can we just say that my makeup has exploded um stay tuned as we get better and i get into my summer we will be playing in makeup more so i will be the makeup will be on my face real soon i'm, I'm gonna do some but i'm just gonna try it out and come back to y'all with it or, or maybe film myself using some of the makeup maybe i'm gonna try i'm not the best i always i tend to forget but i am gonna do that and then we'll have more makeup sessions live over the summertime. And, you know, you never know. I might just pop the fuck on because that's what I do. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a great night. Talk to you later.